Welcome back everybody, it's the Art Sensei here. Today we're gonna to look at some products that I have picked up at the Art Stop LLC and at Michael's. First off, this is the Spectrum Noir Aqua set and the Spectrum Noir Primary Color set. Uh, these we're gonna look up under the microscope and see how well they live up to the Copic test. I always use Copic as a barometer because they're my favorite markers on the market. But these are an affordable option. We wanna see if they're good. And then these Chameleon Self Blenders. Um, this set is the Skin Tone set, and then I picked up some Gray Tones. Uh, this one is a CG5, and this is a CG8. So we're gonna test them out, see how well they work, and let me know in the comments down below if you've tried these out, or if you wanna give them a shot. And uh, let's go with the rest of the video. Take care. All right, so here are the sets. Uh, we have the Spectrum Noir Aqua, and then this is just the basic uh, primary colors. Now let's look at the back here. Um, we have the Flame Red. I'm gonna turn this light on real quick here. Um, flame Red, Bright Orange, Canary, Emerald, True Blue, and Purple. Uh, we're gonna see if these blend. Uh, chances are they do just because uh, this brand uh, in the past I've had a pretty good time with. Uh, I just wanted to check these these sets out just to see how they they work. But I'm gonna open the Aqua set first because uh, I was excited about this one. Uh, this was actually on uh, on sale at the uh, Michaels close to home. And the nice thing about it right now is uh, because of the pandemic, uh, Michaels put a lot of stuff on clearance. So let's look at the colors here. Uh, we have uh, Begonia, Rose Pink, Blossom, uh, Marigold, Jasmine, Sunflower, Meadow, uh, Bud Green, Leaf Green, Orchid, Heather, and Wildflower. So this set says that it's more of a floral set, which makes sense because I see a lot of like a floral type um, color scheme here. So I'm going to start off with the Meadow. And we're going to use the brush tip. I, and one thing I do like about the Spectrum Noir is the tips um, feel really nice. Um, unlike other brands, uh, I, I've tested the Windsor Newtons and the I did not like the, that was one of the things I didn't like because they blended just like Copics so I wasn't too worried about that part. Uh, but. We got the green here, so let's see how well this works. I'm not sure why the tip is like that. Maybe they've been sitting on the shelf for a while. <clears throat> All right. Now, just for purposes of the video, I'm using uh, this Canson paper uh, or Strathmore um, uh, Bristol paper. So Bristol Smooth is not really the most ideal for a marker. I would recommend using marker paper, but now I'm gonna see how well it blends. So uh, It's not blending too well, but like I said, I'm, I'm not using the correct paper. Um, I don't have any marker paper just yet at this moment. I've been doing so much digital stuff, so excuse me. All right, so I'm gonna grab another color here. Uh, Grab the green. I do like this tip. Uh, so it, it's not that it's dried out, they just made the tip. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna really focus in on that. Maybe I can use this one here. Maybe I can't really focus in on that, but I like it. Looks good. Now let's see what happens when we color over. So what I do like is how well it picks up some of its old color, but it's peeling the paper back. It's not necessarily bleeding, but it is peeling the paper back. Alright, so now 
I'm gonna try to find a different paper and I'll be right back. So I found a nice alternative here. I have this book here. Uh, this is my uh, dailies book from my art class. So this has a really porous paper. It's really great for all sorts of media. So we're gonna try this. Um, I was trying to stay away from this just because it is can paper, so it doesn't show up really well on camera. Um, but I'm just gonna grab an area here where we can work with the markers. So just so I don't mess up that piece. Put that there. So I'm gonna do the same thing I just did on that paper. So uh, <clears throat> start with the meadow here and at the same time clean that brush. I want to clean that brush out because it, it picked up a lot of nastiness from the last paper. Ah. I'm hoping this is paper and not the brush itself. So I think I found the issue there. This set, as the name implies, is a water-based marker set. I normally use marker-based. So if you want to use a water-based set, uh, this is the set for you. I am not a fan. Um, so I'm going to say right off the bat, I'm not going to go any further with it. Um, I'm just going to say skip it, um, for me personally. Um, Water-based for me is never good. You're better off using Crayola, and I think that's why they're getting that, you know, the brush almost peeling off there, um, and it will de destroy your paper because paper's biggest enemy is water, well, and fire, but and uh, it's it's gonna warp your paper. I should have looked at the box a little closer. I just saw it now. Um, water-based marker. So. Um, if you are in the market for water based, then be my guest, but for me, it's a no-go. So, um, maybe I'll give these away on the channel, uh, if, if any of you guys want to try it out, uh, I will do some sort of contest and give these away. So I'm going to put this back in the box and now we're going to test out the basic set. Alright, so this is the basic set right here. And I did double check, this is indeed alcohol based. So we won't run into the same problems we did with that last set. What's nice about primary sets is that you know you're gonna get a red, you know you're gonna get a yellow, and you know you're gonna get a blue. So we have true blue, flame red, and yellow. And I know I have trouble seeing colors, but to me this is not primary primary um, red yellow and blue these are more off uh, and I'm just gonna test them out right now just to see if my my theory is correct so yeah that that seems a lot more pale than I'm used to for primary blue unless you're talking CMYK CMYK then it's cyan and cyan is uh, a lot a lot lighter so yeah I think red and yellow are great blue not so much um, the set came with a purple I'm hoping that we can blend these so let's do that I got the red down and I'm gonna just slightly go over it with the blue And you can see the blend here in the center is your purple. So if you're going to be doing skin tones, obviously you're going to have to mix a little bit more, blend a little bit more, use a blender. Uh, but uh, it does blend. And uh, I have to say on this paper, I am really excited how it came out. But warning, it does bleed. So it did not pass the bleed test. Um, I didn't do that many passes either, so um, it's a big, uh, big no-no for me. All right, 
So let's try two other colors here. Um, purple and orange are contrasting colors, but so when they blend, we should get a brown. So let's try that. Or even like a muddy, muddy orange or a really dark purple. You do get the brown. So there you go. And uh, yeah, it's bleeding really bad. So whenever two colors are contrasting, then you're gonna get, you know, poop colors. <laughs> That's what I call them, poop colors. Um, the ink is really, really runny. Um, I would say borrow. So with the Spectrum Noir, definitely borrow. I am not a fan. Um, so now we're gonna test out the chameleons. These are the ones I'm super excited for, so hang tight. All right, so now we're gonna look at the chameleon set here. This is it right here. Hopefully you guys can see me a little bit better. I took the camera down from up here because it was just not working. It was too far away, so um, I put the camera here, and now you can see me, and now you can see the nice art gi. It's not a karate gi, it's an art gi. So now we're just gonna bust this open. Uh, where did my knife go? I know that I try to keep this room as safe as possible for the kiddos. All right, so let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? All right. Come out. It's not coming out, all right. So we have spare Japanese soft brush. Nice, a uh, nice little gift from Chameleon there. Both cameras. All right, so let's toss that aside. And here are the markers. And they look like they're taped together. I've been wanting to try these out for a while. I saw them on another artist channel, uh, Vex. I'll try to link that video in the description down below. Uh, it seemed super complicated. Um, because what it is, is a tri, basically tri-tip. So you got your, uh, seems kind of dry. But, and then you have your fine tip. So this is the fine tip here. Now if you wanna blend the colors, what you have to do is you actually put them in the chamber. So let's do bisque and fawn. So. Take that there, whoop. Okay. All right, lift this up now. And then we charge it up. So, I don't know if you can see it there. It's charging up the blend. And here in this camera, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but it charges it up cap back on that bad boy and then use the bigger size tip here and now we should be able to dab them but it's not working all right first test the the biggest difficulty right now is just finding a good substitute for Copic markers. Um, so now, put that cap back in here. Seems overly complicated. So now I'm charging it with uh, what I put in it before. Not by him. It works. But I mean, the time that I could have just gone and just uh, just grabbed a different Copic, I'm not sure if it's really worth it. Um, but those are the color tones. These are the gray ones that I got. So I'm guessing you have to, you do have to get like an extra adapter for for these. I just gotta open it. There we go. Come on. 
Like any day now. There we go. All right, so here it is. This is CG5. And I grab, I mostly deal with, uh, you know, brighter characters. So I always like to use darker grays and uh, cooler grays. Because if your character is red, uh, the best way for it to really pop is to use cool grays. If you use warm grays, which are grays that are mixed from uh, warm colors, it's just going to muddy everything. But if you have cool versus warm colors, it creates contrast and a nice little uh, fun between the pictures. So I'm not going to blend this one, I just wanted to test it out. I don't know if you can hear that. Nice ASMR. <laughs> yeah, this definitely needs the adapter. So that was the fine tip. Here is the brush tip. What's nice is that it looks like you can just blend them if you don't want to mess around with adapters and whatnot. I will say there's a big variation in the two, um, the skin tone set, there's a nice little contrast between the two. The gray, I really can't tell the difference between CG5 and CG8. Let's try again here. So this is CG5. Let's try CG8. Yeah, I guess it's, it's good. I, I, I will say... Oh, this is gonna be rough. Maybe I'll I'll be on the fence here. I'm gonna go with skip it slash borrow it. Um, if you find these at a cheap price, then buy them. But I'm just gonna say uh, borrow it. I, I was on the fence. Maybe skip, but. Um, I really don't see myself using a marker this big. It seems really bulky to hold. Um, and the whole blending technique uh, seems like it needs a little bit of work. Uh, so you can't even... It, it needs an adapter because you can't pull out of that, that chamber. So yeah, I'm definitely going to say give it a skip. Or not a skip, I'm sorry. Borrow it. Um, but uh, if cheap enough price, then you can buy it. But yes, yeah, borrow it. Um, yeah, I've been kind of let down with uh, today's selection of uh, markers. I was really hoping I'd find something that will kind of break me away from Copics. Um, because it is an expensive hobby. Um, and uh, these are very messy. <laughs> I am sorry about that. Looks like the battery died on the main camera. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out the airbrush machine, um, which is on the video, uh, for the next video. So I'm gonna record that and you guys can uh, expect that video out. Uh, I'm sorry that this one was kind of a letdown, but um, I am gonna try to do that contest so that someone can get these water-based markers off my hand and uh, maybe we can do something fun with it. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching and as always, don't forget to keep it over 9,000. Take care.